I do consider it an honor to be here with you guys today, even if it's virtual. I'm used to hearing the clapping and the, you know, the smell of aftershave and the clanking of glasses at a banquet and all that stuff. I'm, I'm missing that. But I know where I'm at, I know who I'm with, and I'm absolutely delighted to be a part of the event today. So thanks for bringing me here, and I'm going to play you another song. Hey, at least it's not my G string getting loose, okay? I mean, it could be worse. There's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there telling me I gotta be well. Time to stop now. What's that sound? Just I look for something down. distracted me. So we're just going to edit one time here. Sorry. Pause. Sorry. Oh, I hate to do that, man. Ah. Something happened in here What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got you to take care Stop me, stop me now What's that sound? I look for a man What a few day for the year Songs in a carrying signs. What's to say who's ready for our side? Time to stop now. What's that sound? If I don't want to go and hang out. Oh, yeah. Stop now. What's that sound? If I look what's, what's going down. The battle line's being drawn. No one's right if everybody's wrong. People speak in their minds, feeling so much resistance from behind. It's time to stop the children, put that sound, do I look at the children now? Here's to be the sun. Stop now, what's that sound, do I look at the children now? Interestingly enough, that song was uh, political as it was, was not a Vietnam protest song, as some people think. It was inspired by the women's movement. So um, I thought it appropriate with the times today. There's a lot of division and things like that, but I believe that there are things we can remain united in. And I think uh, assisting individuals in our community to becoming more independent is truly 
again, a noble, a noble cause. When I was growing up, um, I didn't want to be a soccer player or a river dancer or any of the obvious things that my parents were probably crossing their fingers and toes hoping I would want to be. I uh, at first wanted to be Bruce Lee. So um, I took the martial arts, I received the training, and I've actually had to use it several times in my, my adult life. Uh, I was glad that I had self-defense uh, training because the last time somebody tried to take my purse, I was able to keep it and chase off the offending bandits, so to speak. That was aimed at humor. So uh, if I did carry a purse, I wouldn't be ashamed of it. But there's no way I'd let anybody get it from me either. So um, there we go. So uh, my point being that my goals were never built upon the perception of my limitations. And I don't think anybody's are. I think the heart wants what it is, wants, and I think we want to be who we want to be. And erasing those barriers is really, I think, what our job is today, uh, just not only for ourselves, but for others. So I want to um, take a moment and play a song that sort of reflects the commonality of, of, our, of our vision here. This one's called We Are the Same. Again with a G string, I do apologize. The next time you invite me to the Imagine Awards, I will have a proper G string. So. And a D string, we can pause. <laughs> Just pause. Thank you very much. I did write that song. For those of you that don't know me, I was actually born this way. Um, gorgeous. Humble. No, I, I have an obvious physical feature that was also uh, attributed to me. I was born with a, a surprisingly big nose, and I've really come to accept myself. That's slightly old material. I think I gave that to you guys some years ago when I came out here. But for those of you who don't know, my name's Mark. I was actually born without arms. And, um, you know, when I was growing up, it would have been really easy for my folks to give me a pass on stuff. But... I thought of a really good story. One Sunday morning, I was maybe 10 years old, and I'd woken up uh, 
thinking I was going to go out and play. And uh, my dad calls me over to the yard, and he's got a pile of leaves that he's kicked together. Now, we had a pretty big yard. There were a lot of leaves in the fall, even in San Diego. So um, my dad goes, hey, uh, Mark, you've been using your feet your whole life. I've been using my feet uh, for reasons other than walking for about the last 15 minutes, and I was able to rake up this many leaves. So as far as I'm concerned, you could finish the yard. <laughs> so um, that set a tone of accountability that really uh, is essential, I think, to our personal self of awareness and to our self-confidence and things like that, that to be held to task at whatever level we are at is um, far more benevolent in the long run, I think, than giving somebody a pass. Um, allowing somebody to figure out how to do something, uh, allowing them to be honest about their potential limitations or struggles is also okay. But put me in, coach, and I think that most of the clients of Roush and from the coaches to the, to the clientele um, would probably agree that put me in coach is, is something that every human being wants to hear growing up and not because they're being given a obligatory or ceremonial place on the team, but a place to do some good on the team, to do some good for the team. So again, that's uh, one of the main reasons I was so excited to come out here and video myself for you guys out there because I think that that is a current that runs strongly through your organization. And, and even though this is a gala, and this is a party, and it's a celebration, I think we can celebrate the tenets and the, the philosophy of human value with each other, even, even during a gala. So my dad, who made me break up the leaves, this song is not about him. But I'm going to dedicate it to him anyway. So. Well, my dad left home when I was three. He didn't leave too much for Ma and me. Just this old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. Well, I don't blame him that he run and hid with the meanest thing he ever did. Before he left, he had to go and name me Sue. Well, he must have thought it was quite a joke and it got a lot of laughs from lots of folks. Seemed I had to fight my whole life through. Some girl would giggle and I'd get red. Some boy'd laugh, I'd bust his head. I tell you, life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. So I grew up quick and I grew up mean. And my feet got hard and my wits got keen. And I rode from town to town just to hide my shame. So it made me a vow to the moon and the stars. I'd search all the honky tonkin' bars and get that man to give me that awful name. I was Gatlinburg in mid-July and I just hit town and my throat was dry Thought I'd stop and have myself a brew So on an old saloon in the street of mud There at the table kneeling studs Had a dirty mangy dog named me Sue Well I knew that snake was my own sweet dad From a worn out picture my mama had To the scarlet cheek and his evil eye He was big and gray and bent old And I looked at him and my blood run cold And I said my name is Sue. How do you do? Now you gonna die. Well, I got him one right between the eyes. He went straight down, but to my surprise, he come up with a knife and cut off a piece of my ear. Well I, well, I got him right between the teeth, and we went through the walls and out in the street, just a chicken and a gousing in the mud and the blood and the beer. Well, I'd like to tell you I fought tougher men, but I really can't remember when. He kicked like a mule, he spit like a crocodile. Well, I went and heard him pass, and I heard him swear, and he went for his gun, and I knew mine first, and I swear he sat there looking at me. I could have sworn I seen him smile. He said, son, this world is rough, and if a man's gonna make it, he's gotta be tough. And I knew I wouldn't know it's there to help you along. So I give you that name and I said goodbye. I knew he's either gonna have to get real tough or die. And I believe it's that name that helped to make you strong. Now you just fought one hell of a fight. And I know you hate me and you got the right. Killing I wouldn't blame you if you do. 
But you ought to thank me before I die For the gravel and the guts and the spit in your eye Cause I'm the son of a gun and named you Sue What could I do? Got all choked up and I threw down my gun And I called him my pa and he called me a son And I rode away with a different point of view And I think about him every now and then And every time I try, every time I win And if I ever have a son I think I'm gonna name him Shirley Temple Thank you. Hope you had fun with that. I think sometimes life presents all of us challenges, and I think that sometimes they're good for us because they remind us that we do have more strength, more ability, more capability uh, within us than we might need to tap into on a daily basis. So my personal journey right now is to... Um, Try to go that little bit of an extra extra yard or two. You know, if you're watching football and you're a football fan, and by the way, today is Super Bowl Sunday. I hope it worked out well for all of you. I had a gig. So if you watch the touchdown and you watch somebody get nailed right at the foot, right at the at the at the line, and then you see him oomph, oomph, oomph a couple more steps into that to that end zone. I would like to encourage myself, all of you, to go ahead and try that extra step next time things look like you're about to get cremated by a linebacker. Life has a lot of linebackers, and um, I say uh, let them bounce off you and take a few more steps. So I'd like to thank Roush Industries, Roush Incorporated, and uh, I want to tell you what a wonderful time I've had being involved with the Imagine Awards again. And uh, I'm sure that there are many people that indeed have a bright and confident future uh, because of the little bit of a helping hand they've had behind them to reach forward and try to change that flat tire or beat up a guy named, that named you Sue. Um, so I'm going to leave, uh, leave you with this as an intimate song. And I mean it to, uh, to all of you. as soon as the second car that lives in this town goes by. Quiet on the set. Sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. Wonder this time where she's gone. Wondering if she's gonna stay. Ain't no sunshine when she gone This house just ain't no home Anytime she goes away I know, 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 just leave it alone But ain't no sunshine when she gone no sunshine when she gone Only darkness every day Ain't no sunshine when she gone She's always gone too long Anytime she goes away Anytime she goes away Anytime she goes Till next time.